Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. It's my birthday, thank you, Isabel. It's that special time of year when a mayor gets to see which of their citizens truly loves them the most, at least enough to be creeping outside their door when they wake up in the morning. It's little Graham, the hamster, waiting for me. Cool guy, I have something I'd really like to show you. Can you come with me to my house right now? Yowie wowie. Yowie wowie indeed, little guy. So they don't want to disrupt your furniture. We're going to have a special surprise shindig here at Graham's house. And this takes me back. I don't think I've done this since the GameCube Animal Crossing when they'd give out NES games. That was the first time I played Balloon Fight all those years ago. Happy birthday! Sorry for surprising you. We've actually been planning a birthday party for you for a while. Come on, blow out those candles and make a wish. So three out of nine of the villagers, that's right, I said nine. We have some bad news on this very special day as well. But uh, but yeah, three out of nine villagers are here, so let's talk to them. I'm glad to see that uh, Brofina made it, even though it looks like she just got off of work. She dressed up either way. I don't have all day. Are you thinking about blowing out the candles soon? <laughs> She's still going to be snooty, even on my day of special celebration. Come on, don't be shy and just blow out the candles on your cake. We can't reach Cranston just yet, so let's make a wish. I prepared a special birthday cake for you, cool guy. First off, you should make a wish. Hmm. So what do I want? I could say, you know, I could say I just want some games, some cool new games. <laughs> I think just, you know... It's a little corny, but I just, happiness. I want to continue to be happy. I want everybody out there to be happy. I think that's one of the most important things in life. And I want to try my best to bring happiness into your lives, and you guys bring it into mine just by watching. I threw my stylus. I'm so happy. Okay, <laughs> so that is my wish. I don't know if I want to tell my villagers about it, but you guys all know. All right, why don't you blow out the candles now? Don't just stand there. Foosh, foosh, foosh. Here we go. Get those party poppers ready. Oh, I have to actually. There we go, blow into the 3DS mic. Some great use of this technology that I forget about sometimes. There we are. Good job on those candles. Now it's the time you've been waiting for. It's present time, yay. We got the best present for our best friend, cool guy. Here you go. It almost feels like he's calling me cool guy, ironically. <laughs> You can enjoy it later. Check it out when you have the time. Now, please make yourself at home and stay as long as you want. But, you know, not too long. Let's actually open this up and see what it is right now. It's birthday shades. Ah, I'm wearing my Inkling superhero mask, but we can put those on. I got rid of my Splatoon hat, but yeah, they've got little candles on them. Looking pretty. He looks like he's really snoot, like it's covering part of his eyes, so he looks like, hmm, looking kind of mischievous and, and uh, a little bit snooty there as well. This, I think, is KK birthday, which I didn't manage to go to KK Slider the Saturday before my birthday, unfortunately, to uh, to get that. I was too busy. You guys might know I put some Splatoon 2 footage and Zelda footage. I got to go to a Switch event the you know this past week, so I was very busy, but unfortunately, that means something bad happened in my Animal Crossing town. We'll get to in a second. I was thinking of getting you a year's worth of split pea soup for your birthday present. Well, <laughs> glad you did it. But everyone said it would go bad before you could finish it. Probably a safe bet there. Let's talk to these guys a couple more times here just to see what else they have to say. By the by, cool guy, what did you wish for? That was a great rhyme that happened to work out with the nickname there. If you tell me what it was, I can tell everyone for you, yowie wowie. It might make it easier for you since we can all help you realize it, yes? Okay, I guess I could tell them if you guys all know. My villagers should know too. I see. So if I heard right, it was happiness. I get that right? Yowie wowie? Okay then, I'll go ahead and tell everyone in town about it. I hope your wish comes true today. Or someday. Excuse me, Cranston. I gotta talk to this little chicky back here. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say, but how old are you? Bark! Never mind, don't answer. <laughs> Anything else, Profina? We'll talk to each of them a couple times here. Happy birthday, Swimmy. Bark! And one more with Cranston before we head out. I love how happy they are. I was thinking of getting you, oh, a year's worth of potato salad for your birthday present as well. Man, you can only think about food. Okay, so let's get out of here. I've got my birthday shades, I'm ready to go. Oh, are you heading home now, cool guy? Sorry for dragging you over here today, yowie wowie, but I hope you remember it fondly. Remember, we're always here for you. All right, see you later. Aw, okay. So we might have a special unorthodox birthday wish here, and I'll explain why once we get back home. Oh no, it's not gonna happen, I don't think. I'm just gonna celebrate. Happy birthday to me. It's always nice getting to celebrate with good cake and good friends. Oh no, we are gonna teleport back home 
and somebody else is going to be waiting for me. It's not Graham, and I can't open my menu, I'm sure. Oh, no, okay. We got a, uh, a blank slate there. So I forgot that we had to uh, get right into the birthday celebration. I, I booted up my game. I was going to have the normal, you know, get ready and, and then start the episode. I've got some gifts, too. Ooh. And uh, I was about to do that, and then I realized, oh, no, the birthday stuff started, so I had to reset so that I could, you know, start filming before we jumped right into the party. So I thought Resetti was going to be here, but he lets it slide on your birthday, apparently. So Mom sent me a present. Dear Adam, I'm so glad you've grown up to be all in strong and independent, but you're still my little baby. Happy birthday, Mom. I am the baby of my family, even though I'm, you know, not too young in years. <laughs> okay. So I got a science table. Thanks, Mom. I actually just sold a science table because I was like, I don't need to hang on to this. But Mom is like, you got to have science in your life. And then Tangy here, she wasn't at the party, but she sent me a gift. My dear Adam, happy birthday. I hope every day this year is sweet and happy for you, just like a birthday cake and me. And here's a gift I picked out just for you from your pal, Tangy. Okay, so what do we got from her? It's a kitty clock. <laughs> Something else I might not use. I'm, I think I'm going to toss the letter from my mom because we have one more very important postcard that I've got to read. It's from Coco, and here is the bad news, guys. So while I was traveling, let me, I guess I could wear my birthday shades. It's the only day that it's appropriate. While I was traveling around, going to events and trying out new games and having fun, little did I know that somebody was about to depart from Goostin. And sadly, we have lost a villager. Let's go over to the house here and check it out. It wasn't Inkwell, wasn't Cranston, of course. He's out with this shovel doing mysterious things on the bridge. It wasn't Graham. It was Coco, my beloved weird gyroid rabbit, and her little little gyroid army I've been putting around her house. They're standing here, loyally guarding this spot, like little Hachiko pups waiting for their owner. It's kind of sad. I'll have to move them, I guess. But this is where Coco's house was. She just, you know, decided to up and move. Let's read her letter here, because she did leave me a letter. She didn't, you know, leave completely. And this might be the last time we're going to do Coco's weird, whispery, creepy voice. Dear Adam... Moving day has finally come. To be honest, I'm a little reluctant, reluctant to leave this town and all the friends I made here. But it's time to move on. I'll miss you. Take care. Best wishes, Coco. <laughs> so yeah, a little creepy to end that way, but Coco has moved out and I don't have her card. I was going to try to have her move back in and just see what happens. But I don't have a card for Coco, unfortunately. But that's okay, you know. Villagers come and vi villagers go, and we're going to have somebody new move in. I've got a few ideas about another normal villager that we could move in. There's a lot of really cute and, and nice n normal personality villagers. We still need an Uchi one as well. But I've got a few in mind, and I'm going to scan one today to see if you guys like them. Uh, Mayor Adam, happy birthday. Everyone in Gustin wishes you the best. And there is a fishing tournament coming up. So, yeah, I didn't get to go to... Uh, to KK Slider's concert. It's supposed to be the Saturday before your birthday. I'll try this Saturday just to see. But it, it's the uh, the Saturday before he'll play uh, KK Birthday for you, and then you get it in the mail as a record. It's a kind of a secret record, but unfortunately I was too busy streaming, talking about Splatoon 2 and all the new excitement. But we are going to scan in a card here. So some of the options that we could use as a, a new normal villager... Not to replace Coco, because she'll still be around hanging out on Main Street since the update. They're all over that place. But I've got some ideas. There is, uh, I think Tia is that little teapot elephant that's kind of cute. There's Meringue, who's a cake kind of looking rhino with, like, strawberry horns. There's a new villager, uh, Silvana, who's a dwarf flying squirrel. Man, that scanned from really far away. And uh, that was one from the RV series. I'm going to scan her in in a future episode so we can focus on her RV. But this is one that I've been thinking about <laughs> that is adorable. We don't have any ducks in town. This is Molly. I'm so touched that you thought of me, Cracky D. I'm well, I'm doing something like Molly, right? So Molly here, she's not going to have an RV. We could ask her to move. We'll just get a, you know, get a gift. I want you guys to weigh in in the comments, though, before we choose a new villager. Let's see what Molly's got for us. A sleek sofa. Oh, thank you. She's just tiny, adorable. She's got those little Pika cheeks. And, uh... <laughs> I just think she would be a good addition to the village. We have a lot of birds, obviously. We've got Cranston, who's a, kind of a, a crane. We have the, you know, Burfina the chicken. We have a robo bird for a little while here with Sprocket. But it just seems like it would be kind of cool to have a duck. This is, the, you know, the closest 
to the sort of mascot that I've got. Oh yeah, I should keep that. It's weird that this is like a whole helmet. It doesn't really go on your hair, but it counts as a helmet. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about different normal villagers. I'm pretty settled on the, uh, the Uchi personality villager, the big sister one. I think I'm gonna go with Phoebe, and that's gonna be another bird, so maybe we should go with somebody else. Speaking of birds, there's also Medley from Zelda that we could have visit. Oh, Sprocket, okay, perfect. I have been waiting. Sprocket, he's kind of like a temporary villager. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him because we have two other jocks, not counting him, but I wanted to see his house. So he's got this kind of stadium here with a microphone that we can't sing into, but oh, howdy, Adam. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's kind of weird that we haven't seen each other for so long. Were you avoiding me? Aha, it's not a very funny joke to play on someone, you know. I get really sad when we don't hang out, Zord. So he's got, I think that might be a bass, right? I think an electric bass, a keyboard, synthesizer, and a bunch of, you know, racks and different, synth, you know, effects panels and things. This is stuff that was in his trailer. He doesn't have a bed either. I wonder if he got rid of it because someone informed me that the, uh, I had forgotten there was a rice bed in retail that I bought that was from Wolf Link, and that was his bed that he should have had in his house originally. Yo, Adam, am I having deja vu, or did we just talk? What's up, buddy? Fruit is full of vitamins, you know. Mm, just saying the word fruit gives me some extra pep. Now I feel like I sh need to eat some. Hey, Adam, pick me some fruit, will you? All right, easy enough. Haha, -ha, that's my pal, Adam. You're too good for me. Okay, but yeah, Sprocket, I think we might sub him out for Phoebe, but I do need to pick a good normal villager. That way, once those two move in, you know, two personalities, then we'll have all of the different ones. And, you know, and there's still a few that I would like to have in town. That, uh, that would be redundant a little bit, like having Epona, she's a peppy villager, but I'd like to have her join in. Playing Breath of the Wild and seeing all the horse stuff in that in the new game coming out, I was just, you know, getting excited about Epona and having a bond with a horse. So let's, uh, let's give him his fruit here. Hello, Adam Zolt, what's up, bro? I brought it. And then we'll check out the campground real quick just to see if there's anything going on there before we finish up. Quick episode here. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do some real life celebrating for my birthday, but I wanted to visit Animal Crossing and just see what it's like. I can't wait any longer time to chow down. Does he convert that into energy or fuel or something? Holy bad, that did not disappoint. Yeah, I want you to have my camel shed in return for getting me the fruit. Mm, thank you. I think I've had one of these before. It's kind of a, a nice warm shirt. I'm keeping you in mind for the next time I need a snack, Adam. I think it's, uh, he's trying to give me clothes that'll suit the winter environment. We'll wear that. I had that one striped shirt on just because I found one of those. And I was like, this was taking me back for when I first started. I think I got off the, the train with that one barred striped shirt. Okay, we look completely different than I <laughs> normally do with these weird birthday shades. We'll see what Harv is up to before we finish up. But yeah, if you don't mind, if you want to you know, weigh in in the comments, let me know, know who should join. There's a sink. And what is this? Some type of fern? A cypress plant. All right. I don't know if I'm going to go for that. Looks like Pascal might be over here. Yep, he's got his shells. No one visiting, because again, if you use the normal amiibo cards, they don't have RVs. I think before we make our final decision, Silvana, the Japanese dwarf flying squirrel, cute little villager, I want to invite her and just have you guys take a look at what she's like before we decide, because she is a newly added again normal personality villager. I think she would be really unique. We don't have any squirrels in town. And those uh, Japanese flying squirrels, they're they are one of the cutest animals in real life. If you've played Pokemon, you probably know Emolga, the little flying squirrel Pokemon based off of those. What's Ganon up to? We'll finish up by talking to Ganon here. I just like with, uh, I saw Tangy has her like double-necked guitar, I think, in her house. Ganon has his drum set. I wonder if he'll invite us over. Yo, hello, seen your face? Well, let's just say I'm ready to start a new day. <laughs> Why is everyone's using the chicken catchphrase from Brofina? So what's up? Let's chat. Invite me over, why don't you? Oh, I was just about to use the weather as an excuse. But I'm not going to lose to the weather. I'm not going to lose to anything. Bark. Hmm. Is he going to... Okay. He's getting competitive about something. I don't know what. I need to give him a new... Just thinking of the new Zelda, I'm like, if he asks for a greeting or some type of catchphrase, I might give him calam calamity because of Calamity Ganon. Anyways, you know, speaking of which, if you are interested in some of the new Switch games on the way, no word on Animal Crossing yet, but I'm sure it is, you know, on the way. I think they're going to release the mobile version of Animal Crossing to kind of help promote the uh, the new Switch version eventually. For sure, I'm, you know, they've been working on one for a while. I have no doubts that they're going to release one on Switch. But anyways, 
you know, check those out. I think with Splatoon, we're gonna do more Splatoon stuff in this game as well. I gotta gotta check out the Squid Sister fans and uh, just looking for any nice shells and fish. I uh, gotta invite CC and VJ here. That is something I've been meaning to do. I have been collecting all the Monster Hunter stuff on the uh, the off episodes, and it's taken me forever because some of those eggs and little poogie pigs have a ton. The egg, the Ottoman egg, has eight different styles, but I managed to get all of them. I had to redo my museum exhibit so I could show you guys that, but that'll be in a future episode as well. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I you know, appreciate you guys being here for my birthday. I appreciate little Graham throwing me that party. Whoa, you again? We're meeting a lot today, Yowie Wowie. So what's up? Let's talk before we finish up. Per hey, cool guy, perfect timing. If you're seeing Cranston today, could you deliver something <laughs> to him for me? It's this thing I borrowed when I was over at his house the other day, but I don't need it anymore. Oh, accidentally hit B. You're right, I borrowed it, so I need to be the one to return it. All right, cool guy, I'll deliver it myself. I feel bad, I can't refuse a favor on my birthday. No, it's funny that he's like, hey, I know it's your birthday, but take this gift to somebody else for me. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.